Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Stephen Craig Miller and Michael Dougherty. This very beautiful chess game was played in Philadelphia in 2002. Where is Philadelphia? Have you heard of Atacama? Well, Atacama has nothing to do with Philadelphia. Let's have a look at the game. Steven Craig Miller had white pieces and he started at e4. Michael Daggerty played Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, defending d6. And Steven Craig Miller played bishop to c4. This is Susan variation of the Sicilian defense. Queen to b6, eyeing the pawn on b2 and attacking the knight on d4. Knight from d to e2, e6. Stephen Craig Miller cast at the king's side. a6, a3, queen to c7. Black wants to play b5 and bishop to b7. King to h1, preparing f4, b5, attacking the bishop, bishop to a2, bishop to e7, black is ready to castle king's side next move, f4, black to move, Michael Duggerty played b4, attacking the knight, a takes on b4, knight takes on b4, threatening knight takes bishop, bishop to b3, Preserving the last square bishop. Bishop to b7. Knight to g3. Black to move. How would you continue? Perhaps a castling kingside looks like a sensible move. Do you agree? Michael Daggett played very sharp. h5. With this move. He is telling that he is not interested in castling kingside, or perhaps queenside. He just wants to attack. Queen to d4, h4, knight on g to e2. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? Michael Dougherty wanted to get rid of the pawn on e4. So he played d5, a good move, excellent timing. e5, Steven Craig Miller wants to keep the position closed. Pawn is attacking the knight. What is the best move for black? Attack is the best defense. Bishop to c5, attacking the queen. Taking g1 away from the king. Queen to d1, black to move. What would you do if you had black pieces? Perhaps there is more than one good move for black in this position. h3 looks very promising. So does d4. In the game we have a knight to e4. Knight to d4, black to move. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Did you find this brilliant move? Knight to g3 check, forking the king and the rook. h takes on g3. h takes on g3 check from rook. King to g1. Black to move. Now, black queen needs a helicopter to get to h2 or to h1, and it's all over then. Since there are no helicopters, what is the best move for black then? Michael Duggerty played queen to e7, intending queen to h4 and checkmate. Knight to e2, intending knight takes pawn. Black to move. Black. Play the move and white resigned. 
the movies. Rook to h1. Fantastic. White resigned in view of this continuation. King takes rook. Queen to h4 check. King to g1. Queen to h2. Check. Mate. What a brilliant attack by Michael Daggerty. Let's go back to these critical positions of the game. Well, this is first very interesting position. When black decided not to castle, but to play h5. Second very interesting position. When black played d5, bringing bishop on b7 to life, making the bishop very strong. And then next position is this one. Did you guess this move? Knight to g3 check. And then this position. Did you find a queen to e7? Queen to d8 does the same trick. And then the last move in this position. Did you see this brilliant rook sacrifice? How many moves did you guess? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.